Hey guys, uh, real quick one today. This is kind of a video response slash unboxing slash comment rambling post of some sort. Uh, just using the small camera today because I don't feel like dealing with another 4 gigabyte file again. But uh, basically, what I have here is an item that I just recently traded. Uh, as you see, it just comes in the square old box, nothing too out of the world, but that's kind of nice because it seems like everything comes in a special box nowadays. So it's actually refreshing just to see something cool come in a ordinary box. So I'm just going to open that up quickly. Uh, just a note, these square O boxes are actually made from post-consumer material and they are completely recyclable. So it's kind of something I did just to keep the environment in mind when they're creating these boxes. Uh, it's just these square O ones that kind of have the cardboard look to them. So all right, so it's got warranty stuff, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, just the usual. So I will leave that box there. This is the holiday pair for this year. I kind of kicked myself for missing the frost blue oil rigs from last year, but I ended up uh, grabbing the fuel cell from this year. There were three holiday models that came out in the fuel cell. There was the white, the green, and the purple. I opted for the purple pair because I thought it would be really cool looking. Plus, violet iridium is really nice. So what we have here is just a, a science pattern. These are actually called the, uh, the science fuel cells. Uh, it's just kind of like some molecular structure, but inside each of these it just has the uh, letters O-A-K-L-E-Y for Oakley. And it has the, the violet iridium lenses, which look really nice against the purple uh, artwork there. Icons are just sort of, uh, I don't know if that's like a flat silver or if it's actually tinted purple to some degree. It could just be the contrasting colors, but overall it really fits, really looks nice. Yeah, I'm really happy with this pair. Uh, micro bag also kind of uh, fits the theme. I think that looks really nice too. I don't know if there's a different micro bag for each one. Uh, looks like there's some green, purple colors there, so probably they use the same one for each of them. But <clears throat> the thing I want to talk about today is, is less about the pair. I mean, they're a really awesome pair. Let's see how they fit. Yeah, they definitely fit a lot better than the gas can. I always feel like the gas can is going to like fall off my head, but these ones really clamp on nice. So. The gas can S actually, I think, fixed the problems with this traditional gas cans. If you look at it, there is a lot more curve here than a traditional gas can. And the gas can S kind of had a look, that same uh, curve too, so it stays on your head a lot better. The mat frame, I think, helps as well. And uh, it's really nice. Uh, I'm going to do a comparison later because um, I had BAPD uh, 77 take a look at the icons between the several of the square wall models. And they said they were slightly bigger than the gas can icons. So I'm going to check that out later because uh, I do like keeping a list of all the compatible icons. But the thing I wanted to talk about was just um, just some thoughts on collecting. I traded this for the Frank Kozik uh, Hijinx, the one of the artist series. And some people might say, well, why'd you, you know, was that an even trade? And to me, I'd say, yeah, it's an even trade. I traded something that, you know, I wasn't really happy with, wasn't 100% in love with, for something that I like. I mean, I really like these pairs. So it's a nice piece in the collection. It's going to look good. Um, most of the Gaskins I have, I don't really like. You know, they don't look good. But I think this one, you know, just with the subtle artwork, the nice lens, I think this is actually going to look really nice in my collection. So, uh, you know, people might say, well, that's not really an even trade. But I think it's, I think it was a really good trade because uh, I was happy with it. And, you know, if you're not happy with something in your collection, just because it has some sort of perceived value, I wouldn't think that that's, you know, really ultimately worth it in the end. So um, I just wanted to kind of keep this short, but uh, overall, I mean, I, I love this pair. I now have a pair in my collection that I'm really happy with. I got rid of a pair that I wasn't really happy with. There's really nothing wrong with the Kozik hijinks. It just, actually, there's a couple things. Um, first was when the artist series first started coming out, I was determined just to get every one. I had the Flores 1 and 2. I had the C100s. And then they all, everything started coming out after that. So you had the... Um, Art Chantry, you had the Francis with the, the puking pigeons on it, you had the Frank Kozik, you had the Chip Foose. The Chip Foose actually wasn't an artist series, it's just a signature series, but I was just trying to get them all because they all seemed to fit the same mold. So there's a Chip Foose gas can, which was signature, there's a Soviet gas can, the Flying Tiger gas cans. I ended up getting rid of most of them, except for the Art Chantry, the uh, Todd Francis pigeon one, and the two Flying Tiger uh, gas cans. Uh, Chip Foos one was just sort of a, it was like a brushed silver, didn't like it that much. Box was cool, 
I think I ended up keeping the pin on it because that was kind of cool. Uh, the Soviet gas can was just ugly. I mean, it was it, did, it only had artwork on one side. I really didn't like it. So I kept on to the Kozik for a while, and I'm not sure why. I think just because I wanted maybe just the first couple releases, but as I looked at it more, I'd actually spent about a year just in my collection inside its box stuffed away. And uh, when I did a video a few months back, you actually saw me take it out. It was just sitting there in a box. So it wasn't even being displayed in my collection, unlike the other pins, which actually are displayed. And I didn't, I mean, the artwork was nice, but it just didn't really, wasn't really special. Plus also, you know, it, it did sort of remind me of the time when I was collecting everything and I just ran into this burnout where they started releasing more and more artist series, more signature series, and there was just too much. I felt like I had to get these pieces as opposed to wanting to get these pieces. It, it just didn't make sense in the end. So I stopped grabbing all the artist series, but I kept the ones I had. And then I finally decided just to get rid of the cozy because, you know, it signified a time when I was just not collecting for the right reasons. Um, I didn't really, you know, care for the pair. It wasn't really that attractive. Uh, you know, I had Reagan on it, and I don't know. I mean, I can go into a big diatribe about that, but not that I didn't like Reagan. I just didn't like people mocking him. <laughs> kind of like that. But, um, you know, it, it just, it really didn't do anything for me. And if something doesn't do anything for me in my collection, I, I want to get rid of it and trade it for something that's better. I love this pair, didn't like the other pair, so as far as I'm concerned, that's sort of an even trade. So um, that's kind of all I wanted to do. Uh, I did, would like to talk about some things that are kind of coming up. Um, a few people have been asking me about the co-pilot event. So what I want to do is I'm going to start dividing that up. Um, probably I'll do another mini episode where I'll talk basically about what that was, how people got into it, how people won the trip down to headquarters. And I have a lot of video from the event, so what I might do is start chucking that up and just uh, you know, releasing portions of it with some commentary. Uh, there's a slideshow as well, so I'll probably release that at some point too. Um, as I said, the next full review I'm going to do is going to be on the 24K uh, X-Metal 20. But there are a couple other things I'd like to do. Uh, one is just going to be an Oakley Winter Gear, because the X games are coming up. I'm really excited about those, and I'm just going to go over some of the hoodies, the jackets, snow pants, hats, mittens, things like that. A lot of things that would be good for uh, the colder climate, so if you're in a, a colder area, hopefully you might find that interesting. So, um, I said I'll kind of make this quick. It probably isn't at this point, but I'll leave it at that, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Take care.